Thanks to everybody coming out and everyone that's made this day perfect. Special thanks to Emily and Jim. They brought me enough drinks last night to be cut off. Thank you. <laughs> Luke and I met at a company picnic in September four years ago. I went there not knowing many people who were going, and I seen Emily across across the patio, and she was pretty. I didn't think I had a chance with her. We met, we were playing each other in cornhole, so Luke and I were on the same side. I beat her pretty bad at cornhole. I kind of felt bad about it, but it ended up really good. And then the next week, I, we started talking on Messenger at work. Yeah, and the rest is history. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we gather with great joy this afternoon on a rainy Saturday to celebrate with Luke and Emily as today you establish between yourself a lifelong partner. I started to realize Luke was getting serious with someone when he started to come home later after volleyball. It might have taken a few weeks for the introduction, but Emily soon became a familiar face and a joy to be around. I soon realized why Luke had a feeling Emily was the one from the start. I don't know what it's like to be married, but I do know that so many of the couples in this room have uh, changed my life uh, immeasurably through their marriages, through their relationships, through their children, through my family. And I look forward to that continuing on with both of you. My dearest Emily, on September 26, 2015, I found a woman that would spend the rest of her life with me as her husband. I have spent years trying to figure out where God was taking me, and He was leading me to you. You look for the good in everyone, and you have never once given up on me. I look into the future, and I see us sitting on rocking chairs on the front porch, looking out over our vineyard, me drinking coffee, and you drinking chai tea, talking about how great and crazy our lives are. I hope that God allows us to have children together because you need my genetics for eyesight and athleticability. <laughs> and I need you to make them organized and smart. Life makes sense to me now, and that is what I was missing throughout life before you. You have a way of taking all my good qualities and making them even better. You better bet that I'll be standing at the altar Smiling big, knowing that our future is walking down the aisle in a white dress. Love, Luke. Our advice to both of you is always put each other first and talk about everything openly and honestly. And to remember that while neither of you will ever be perfect, with the strength of love, mutual respect, and understanding, you can be the perfect match for each other. Remember your promises, keep them with all your heart, and you will have that sense of joy and wonder that exceeds all you have known previously. To my soon-to-be husband, Luke, I'm thankful God sent me you. 
He saw I needed you to make me laugh every day, to be strong when I need it, or a shoulder to cry on, to pick me up when I am down, to help drive me to be my best, to encourage me to never stop pursuing my dreams, to love me unconditionally, and to let me be my true sarcastic and goofy self. What I look forward to most in our marriage is loving and living life to the fullest together. You always put the needs of others before yours and do just about anything for the people you love. I consider myself truly blessed to be in your life and I couldn't think of a better man to spend my life with. Love always, Emily. Brothers and sisters, it is my joy to introduce to the church and to the world, Mr. and Mrs. Ewitner. Emily is an incredible person. I really do genu I genuinely look up to you because you're actually very inspiring. You've traveled and you're so smart and you're ambitious, which is worth looking up to. And um, I'm assuming that's all part of why Luke loves you. One of the best parts of marriage is that I get a brother. That's awesome. Emily and Luke come from totally different backgrounds and somehow found each other. It's amazing how a person from Marsh Lane and a person from Chicago can find each other and connect like Luke and Emily. Together they have already traveled the country along with a few other countries. I can't wait to see what they accomplish together. I have never seen Luke so happy and proud than when he's talking about Emily. His best quality is his selflessness. He would do anything for anyone, no questions asked. She's beautiful, smart, encouraging. There's nothing bad about Emily, and I'm honored to be her husband. I, Luke, take you, Emily, to be my wife. I, Emily, take you, Luke, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. All, All the, the days, days of my, my life. life.